Hello folks, I hope you all are fine. Well, I am fine too. So we are going to continue with our science series and you would like to hear this from a long time, I guess. But this is the very last topic of our chapter number one, the living world. Okay. Of course, we have last studied about uh, that, how you can store this plant and animals. And now we are going to study about key. You say a key. Yes, a key. Okay, though this is a different kind of key what you have learned from the, you know, lock and key one. This is not that one. Many people have uh, seen, many students have issue in this particular topic. Very small topic, important too though. The problem here comes between, uh, like for you is that you can't understand this properly because the language they've used now, that's quite complicated. Not with the words, but you know. So we'll try to understand with an example. Okay, so first let's see you are watching a crime show. Okay, you are watching. This is a TV. You, yeah, on a Sunday, you tend to watch series about a crime show. And then you say, oh, Sherlock Holmes, right? He's a detective. And here is some kind of a murder Focus, huh? It is going to help you. This is not a story I'm telling you just to, you know, yeah, no, focus. Huh? So you're watching this and there is a Sherlock Holmes. Chalo, you are Sherlock Holmes, okay? Yeah, the detective. And here has been one murder. So what is going to happen? Remember what they do? Even in a CID. Chalo, chodo na Hollywood one. Let's pick the, our DC one, the CID. What we have seen? That each and every detective is going to go on a particular site and then trying to find any kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, evidence, right? That whatever it will help, you know. Hmm. So they are going to try to find you any kind of evidence which is going to help you to let them to reach to the murderer. So each evidence, listen, each evidence, for example, he finds some kind of a blood sample there, some kind of a knife there. Each of this evidence is going to be a lead for them. Lead for what? Lead to find a murderer. Right? That is how... Uh, sorry. This is key. Right? Okay, so that is how a crime show goes, right? You have watched multiple crime show, I know that. And you know that what is the work of detective that they are trying to find each and every evidence and that each and every evidence is a one kind of a lead, okay? To what? To the culprit or to the murderer here. That is how the things go. Okay, if you want to find something. Okay, that's it. How you can find it? from the different kind of leads. It is going to make you reach out to the culprit. The same kind of thing, okay? Now, this lead is something you can call it as a key. Key to what? To your lock here, which was you have to find a murderer. Key to your all answers. That is how this key is represented too, okay? So, what is key? So when you see the definition of it, it is another taxonomical aid. We have already talked about taxonomical aids. Remember the museum, the uh, parks. Okay, why are this like why we are storing this animal and plant uh, specimens? Just because they are taxonomical aids, they are going to help us to identify and classify the plant and animal. Similarly, this key is an another taxonomical aid used for the identification of plant and animals, right? Based on what? Based on the similarities and non-similarities. See, how you are going to identify a particular plant or animal? For example, right now, I, I you know, I went to a, let's take a different example here. I went to a jungle tour, okay? Yeah. And then I am seeing a really weird kind of animal. Right? 
for me it is weird because i've like first time been in a jungle and all okay what kind of so i try to think that i've seen this is some kind of this thing and i uh, kind of had this may be a rabbit okay so i said let's just not guess i am a scientist okay so let's just go for a, a scientific way like in a scientific way so let's just take help of a taxonomical age like key so i'm going to follow the key how i'm going to do that so on the characteristics either they are going to be similar or they are going to be non similar okay so what are the keys they are based on the contrasting characters generally in pair called as couplet okay let me write couplets so they are based on couplets now what are couplets very important for like one mark or you can say any one they ask this thing what is couplets so this couplet are the contrasting character always contrasting characters okay contrasting contrasting means to opposite not can be together contrasting very different from one another so i am going to see this contrasting characters that of you know put different kind of characters and see what kind of animal it is actually either it is a rabbit or it is someone else okay the similarities are with rabbit or there are dissimilarities with rabbit if there is similarity with rabbit then it is a rabbit if not then it is not a rabbit okay so the key is some kind of a lead it is going to represent the choice between two opposite very important two opposite options see let's just say i give you an example of food so we are in this jungle okay uh, not me you are too okay <laughs> and we see this we are kind of animal but i say okay let's just check it till then you come and uh, there's a bonfire and we are really hungry and you ask what you are going to eat i like chinese and i'll say uh, i also like chinese and then the different person says i like punjabi i say i like punjabi too so that is something that i can have both i like punjabi and chinese both of that okay both are my choices that could be but let's like just take an example what are my favorite food but height is an error like your favorite food is a different characteristic you have and then there is a height you have someone asked that i have uh, i have like my height is 4 and other person says my height is 6 you know the same two friends i cannot say my height is 4 and 6 both is it possible no because height is a characteristic okay either it is going to be 4 either it is going to be 6 like any number but it is going to be any one of them na you can say my height is both 4 and 6 that is not possible so here also you are going to take characters which are like which are quite opposite with each other okay 